Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So no sound problem on Windows PC and laptop is a very annoying issue where you get no sound and it says no audio device installed. So right now I am on my Windows 11 and you can see when I hover up on the audio icon it says no audio device is installed and this problem can be both on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So in this video I will be sharing few best and the most recommended solution and if you apply them one by one, I'm very sure by the end of this video, your problem will be surely fixed. So the very first thing that I would recommend you that go ahead and update your Windows operating system. As many time outdated Windows and there are many kind of pending driver update which you are not updating and due to which you can have this kind of problem. So updating Windows is very simple. You will have to click on your Windows search, type update, click on check for updates. Now here you have to click on check for update again and if there is any update available kindly go ahead download and install them. A part of that what else you have to do here you have to click on advanced options then click on optional update and many times there are some kind of audio and the driver update available and you can see on my end the driver update is available. So you will have to click on the drop down and check here for any kind of audio and the sound driver update. If there are update available, kindly select it, download and install the update. So once everything is being updated, you can go ahead and restart the computer and then check back if the problem has been fixed or not. Now if this doesn't work for you, next you will have to click on your Windows search, type services, click on services. Now here in the services box, you have to look for a service by the name Windows Audio. So come to the W section and you will find the Windows Audio option, double click on it. And make sure the startup type has been selected to automatic. And if the status is stop, then you will have to start the service. Then you will have to click on apply. Click on OK and now you can close it. Next, right click on the Windows icon. Click on device manager from the suggestion. Now here in the device manager, you have to look for sound, video and the game controller. Double click on it. You will find your audio device section. And here first you have to assure that this adapter has not been disabled. So right click on it and if you get an option of enable device it means that the device has been disabled. So click on enable device. Once enable, now you can see my problem has been fixed and if I hover up on the audio icon now, so my audio is now working. But if it's not been disabled, next what you can do, right click on it again, click on disable device, click on yes, once disable again right click on it and choose enable device and now you can see that if the problem has been fixed or not but in case if this also doesn't work additionally what else you can do right click on it again click on uninstall device click on uninstall again and then you will have to go ahead and restart the computer so once the computer gets restarted check back again so hopefully after applying all this solution your problem will be fixed but in case if you still have the same problem then additionally what you have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on system then you have to look for sound click on it on windows 11 you have to scroll down and you have to look for more sound setting click on it this will bring up another box now here you have to click on the playback section and here you have to select your speaker choose the right speaker make a right click on it and make sure that it's been selected as a default device. If not, then you will be getting an option of default device selected. And once it will be done as a default device, you will find this green tick over that. So you can also try this solution. And if this also doesn't work, then you will have to bring up any of your favorite browser. And in the search box, you have to type Realtek Audio Driver Download. Click on the first link. Click on Download Audio Windows 10 Windows 11 dot zip. Wait until the downloading is being completed and it's around 357 MB so it will take some time so wait until it's all been done. And once it gets downloaded, open the downloaded folder. And it will be downloaded in a zip file so right click on it and click on extract all. Click on extract. And once it will be extracted you will find all these kind of audio file. Now here you have to look for a file by the name setup that is an application file. Just make a right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes and once it will be installed it will ask you to restart the computer so you will have to click on finish. So this is another effective solution that you can apply 
But in case if all this method doesn't work, then you can finally go with one of the most powerful solution that is the power drain. Now power drain is basically what happened that many times there is a static charge that remain on your motherboard due to which many kind of features, many kind of adapter doesn't work properly. So if you are on a PC, then what you have to do, you need to shut down your computer, remove all kind of cable like your power cable, your mouse, your keyboard, any kind of external devices unplug all the devices once done then you have to press and hold the power button for like 25 to 30 seconds press and hold it and then finally you have to connect all the devices back connect your power cable and now start the computer again and check back if the problem is being fixed or not same you have to do with your laptop if you are using a laptop and it's with a removable battery then remove the battery unplug the charger unplug any kind of external devices Press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds. Once done, reconnect all the devices, reconnect the charger and then power on the machine again to see that if the problem has been fixed. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully after applying all the solution, your problem will be surely fixed. And if yes, let me know in the comment section which method worked for you. And do not forget to like and subscribe. I see you in the next video. Bye bye.